Hello everyone, Lady De Winter here. This video is powered by coffee and yarn. So, hello everybody, just goofing around here a little bit. Uh, thought a little levity would break the morning monotony because I hate morning. Anyway, we are going to learn today another stitch. Two stitches actually. We're going to learn the double crochet and the triple crochet, also known as the treble crochet. So, as you remember from our last lesson, you make a chain by looping your, you cast onto your needle by looping around your two fingers. You've got a loop, you poke up that loop, pull it through, put it on your needle, pull it taut. Don't worry if you have a long piece of thread on your needle afterwards. That is long so that you can weave it in easily using a darning needle. So, we're going to make a chain. Remember, we wrapped, pulled through, wrapped either direction, pulled through, wrap, pull 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 through. I need several stitches to do this, so. And this is the chain stitch, if you remember. This is what we made in our last tutorial. Now, I believe I've got enough chains on this to, to show you properly. Now, once again, we're going to skip the first chain on our hook. Nick, the one right next to our hook there. We're going to skip that. We're going to wrap our needle either direction. It does not matter. We're going to wrap our needle. We're going to poke through the top stitch there. We're going to pull up a loop. Now we have one, two, three loops on our needle. We're going to wrap our needle again and only go through two of those loops. I'll show you that one again, okay? We're going to poke through, we're going to wrap our needle and poke through our top stitch, okay? We're going to wrap our needle again, we're going to come up, we're going to pull through only two loops on our hook. Now that leaves us two more loops. We're going to wrap our needle and go through again. And that is a double crochet. We're going to wrap our needle, poke through one there. We're going to pull up, wrap our needle again, come up. Now you have one, two, three on your hook. You're going to pull through two. Now you still have two on your hook. Wrap again and go through all of them. Okay? We'll do it again. Wrap your needle poke through this top loop, pull up a loop. Now you've got one, two, three on your needle. Wrap again. That's going to give you the two you need to go through there. Now you have two more loops on your hook. Wrap again and pull through those two. That is a double crochet. I'll do it again. Wrap your needle. Poke it through the top loop of your chain. Wrap your needle again. Pull up. You'll have three on your needle. Wrap it again. Pull through only two, only two of them, okay? See, only two. Wrap your needle again and pull through the last two. <clears throat> okay, there we go. That's our stitch now. Excuse me for the short break. We wrap our needle. We poke through the top stitch there. We wrap our needle again. We pull it through the, and we have three on our hook. We wrap it again. We pull it through two. We have two more on our hook yet. Two loops on our hook. Wrap again. Pull it through both. Wrap your needle. Poke it through the top, the top stitch there. Top stitch. Pull through. You've got one, two, three loops. Okay? Wrap your needle again. Now you have four. You're going to pull it through two and pull it through two more. Wrap your needle. Poke it through the top of your chain stitch. Wrap your needle again. And see, I don't do it like that. I pull it up like this. It just makes it easy for me. Now you have one, two, three loops. And I'm going to go the way I do it. Pull, Wrap your needle again. Pull through two. Wrap your needle again. Pull through two more. Now you see my stitch looks a little bit different than the other ones, making it the way I do it. This is the correct way to do it. I do it differently. So you wrap your needle, you poke through the top of the chain, wrap your needle again, 
pull through, you've got one, two, three loops, wrap your needle again, pull through two, wrap your needle again, pull through two. Wrap your needle. So you're actually wrapping your needle. There's your wrap, your first wrap. Poke through your chain. Wrap your needle again. So that's your second wrap. Pull through two. You've got one, two, three. Wrap your needle again. There's three wraps. Pull through two. Wrap your needle again. Four wraps. Okay? Wrap your needle. Poke through the top of your chain. Wrap your needle. Pull through two. And you'll have one, two, three on your hook. Wrap your needle again. Pull through two. Wrap your needle again. Pull through two more. Wrap your needle. Poke through the top of your chain. Wrap your needle again. You'll have one, two, three loops. Wrap your needle again. Pull through two, wrap, and you know this is a common problem. Okay, you see my yarn splintered. You can fix it easily by backing out of that stitch or just starting the stitch over again. Do not be afraid to frog your stitches if something goes wrong. Wrap your needle, poke through the top of your chain, wrap your needle again, pull through two, wrap your needle again. Pull through two, wrap your needle again, pull through two. Wrap your needle, poke through the top of your chain, wrap your needle. You'll have three loops, wrap your needle, pull through two, wrap your needle, pull through two. Now if you didn't get that, go back and re-watch it as many times as you need to. That's how I learned how to crochet. I just paused and rewatched and paused and rewatched and paused and rewatched. That's how I learned how to do this. So, now I'm going to finish out this row and teach you how to turn around. So, we're going to go through here and in my need for speed, I'm screwing up. So, you want to take things slow when you're learning. Because slow and steady is the pace if you want to win the race. Yes, I know. Cliché. Now you see how I do my different wraps like I do. My stitches come out the same. It's just easier for me with my hands and my arthritis. So there is your row of double crochet. Now, you see why I don't like to use this stitch for garments? Look at those holes in between. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't like to necessarily use this for a garment that I don't want to be see-through. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to chain a stitch and turn our work. Just like that. Chain your stitch, turn your work. Forget about your chain there. That's just a place keeper. You're going to wrap your needle. Now, this is the treble crochet or the triple crochet. You're going to wrap your needle and wrap it again. So your needle, oops, okay, that was out of sync. Let me show you that again. Okay. You've got your chain stitch for your turning, the turning stitch. Turn your work. Wrap your needle. Wrap your needle. Your needle's going to look like you're wrapping yarn around it. Poke through both your stitches, pull up a loop. Now, you have one, two, three, four on your loops on your needle right now. You're going to loop one more time, and this is where it gets a little tricky. You go through just two, okay? Now, you're going to have three more on your hook. You're going to wrap again and go through just two, and it gets a little tricky. There. Go through just two. Wrap again. Go through just two. This is why I don't like this particular stitch and I don't use it e often. Wrap your needle with a double wrap. One, two wraps. Go through your two stitches. Pull up a loop. Now you have four on your hook. Go through two stitches. Wrap again. 
go through two stitches, wrap again, go through two stitches. We'll do that again. Go through your stitch, wrap your needle, bring up a loop. You've got four loops on your hook. You're going to wrap again. You're going to go through the first two loops. You've got three loops on your hook. Wrap again, go through two, wrap again, go through two. That is a treble crochet stitch. I hate it. This is one stitch I do not like. I can never get it tight enough, no matter how hard I try. Uh, there's always a little hangy thing right there, as you see, right there. I hate that. I hate that with a passion. But a lot of your things that you make will call for this, especially if you're making a lacy garment, okay? So you want to wrap your needle twice, poke it through your stitch there, both loops on the hook, wrap again, and pull it up. Now, my arm is laying on my yarn, so i got to stop that. Okay. You've got four loops on your hook. Wrap again. Pull through two. Wrap again. Pull through two. Wrap again. Pull through two. And sorry, that was totally out of focus. I'll do it again. Wrap your needle twice. Okay. Poke through your stitch. Wrap your needle. Pull up. Four, you know, you've got four loops on your hook. You're going to wrap your needle, and I really don't like doing it that way, but wrap your needle, pull up two. Wrap your needle, pull up two. Wrap your needle, pull up two more. Now, the reason my stitch looks like that is because I crochet very, very loosely. Oops, sorry, bumped my camera. Sorry about that. If I was to do it the way I want to do it, i do it like this, pull through my loops, stick through my thing, and come back like that. I think it makes a cleaner stitch, personally. But, you know, a lot of people don't agree with me. They say you've got to wrap it this way. I don't. I wrap that way. I think it just makes a cleaner stitch. It's up to you. It's your preference. It's your garment. It's your stuff you're making. So... Wrap your needle three times, you know, that like I showed you before, you're going to wrap once, wrap twice, like that. Poke through your stitch, bring up a loop, four loops on the hook, wrap through two, wrap again, go through two more, wrap again, go through another one. Now you see how lacy that makes it? That's why I don't like that stitch that much. But like I said, for lacy garment, this is a beautiful, beautiful stitch. It really is. So, we're going to do it again. We're going to wrap our needle twice. We're going to poke it through the hole. We're going to come up with four loops on our hook. We're going to wrap it and go through two. We're going to wrap it and go through two more. We're going to wrap it and go through two more. We're going to wrap it twice. Poke it through both of our stitches there, come up with another loop, wrap it once, twice, three times. And there you go. There is your triple crochet and your double crochet. Now, like I said, these are both very lacy stitches. If you use them, you're going to have a very lacy garment, and that's the back of it. That's the way the back looks. Okay? But that is your double crochet and your triple crochet. So I hope this video has helped you. I hope uh, my explanation was clear enough for you. Like I said, if you have to, just go back, watch over, go back, watch over, go back, watch over, until you get it. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Nothing worth knowing is learned overnight. So... Thanks for watching. Until the next time, this is Lady DeWinter reminding you that as long as you have coffee and yarn, you're good to go. Bye-bye for now.